guys welcome back to my channel thanks for joining me today I'm gonna be doing a new brand for me it is bones coffee so as you can see a little bit behind me I got a little bit of a different setup so today I brought out my handy dandy year-round coffin <laughs> yes I have one of those and yeah I'll only be trying a couple of the flavors I have went ahead and my husband and I tried probably four or five of them and we've kind of narrowed in on what is our favorite we got 13 different ones so there's no way that I would survive trying all of those and I feel like my taste buds would just be kind of over it after the fifth one in a row so seems a little pointless to pointless to try all of those anyways and yeah today we're gonna be trying the strawberry cheesecake which I can't wait strawberry cheesecake my favorite in the world so when I saw that they had that available as a flavor I've never really tried fruity coffees anyways so I was like yeah if they can do that I'm sold <laughs> and then I'll also show you the one that has become our favorite and fortunately we got two large uh, bags full of it we did get a five pack sample bag which their samples are really cool because you can just look at all of their available flavors and pick your own so it's you know your choices and um, it was hard it was hard to just pick five so we ended up getting an additional sample set so we were able to pick 10 flavors and then we settled on two other flavors in the full-size bags of each of those which we figured we would really enjoy so we were like yeah we don't need to sample that we know we're gonna like it and if I didn't say already they are based out of Florida and let's see you can get it ground or whole bean which is great i used to have a grinder but i don't drink so much coffee anymore so i just have the little brewer so we got it ground obviously and it is really cool with this brand they come out with their own seasonal blends so like for halloween i've seen other people getting their frankenstein themed one. I'm probably wording it incorrectly. I don't know the exact name of that one. But then they have some for around Easter where their skeleton is dressed up as like a little Easter bunny. They have the Christmas ones like I know almost everybody enjoys peppermint bark. They do have one of those which I'm excited to try. But for right now, being the first time I ordered and it will not be the last, I went ahead and just had my husband help me pick out and narrow down because I could not narrow it down. I was like, I'm just going to get one of everything, <laughs> which I would have gone broke off of coffee because they have so many selections, which is great, but holy moly, don't let me loose on that site. <laughs> and you do get cute little stickers with it too. So loving that. I love my little stickers. And they come in easy to tear off and then resealable bags, which also great. And yeah, we'll go ahead. I'll show you how I got them set up here. And then I'll see if they're done brewing in the kitchen. And I'll bring my husband back to me and we'll give him a go. <laughs> so now we are down to the ground level. And this is my beautiful coffee collection i'm so excited this coffin has never looked more yummy i normally just use it as you see i put shelves in it because it's an authentic amish built um children's viewing i have the lid there and i put that up there and i used to just deck it out and then um i studied forensics so i put all of my forensic books on it but now something a little better to put on and yes that box they even put their logo on the box which oh my gosh I wanted to tackle the delivery guy when he got here I was waiting and waiting anticipating and when it finally got here I was like dude I'm gonna scare the delivery guy like <laughs> I saw the tracking update come I was like it's gonna be here today <laughs> 
Unfortunately, no delivery drivers were hurt in my shipment. <laughs> But yeah, I'll pull them all off as we go through them and I'll show you. But yeah, just so you get a feel. I wish you could get a taste of them though. Oh my gosh, every bag I open of them, oh, it, it's just amazing. It's how they say the flavors are is actually what you get when you open it. Like the maple bacon, yeah, that one. That was the first one I tried because I was so damn excited about it <laughs> and I wasn't let down <laughs> but let me go wrangle up my husband and get us the coffee and we'll try it for you guys hey I wrangled him <laughs> so we're back hopefully you liked my display case behind me I keep thinking that that skull is hair I'm like why do I wear these <laughs> hair sticking up what's going on work so this one, which is Highland Brock, we got two of the full size ones of that because favorite. So that one is what, butterscotch? And... That one is butterscotch and caramel. Yeah. So this one has been our daily. We actually have this one already opened and let's see, down to about there. <laughs> so that one has just become our go to. And yeah, Highland Grog. It's amazing. It's the 12 ounce bag of it, which, yeah, that gives you a lot. And the minute that you open it, it's just, it's almost like a Werther's candy, I would say. Like, how would you describe it? I was actually already thinking Werther's before mm -hmm. you even said it. Yeah, man, if you had that and like dunked one in there or something. Oh my goodness, game over. Mm, <laughs> so good. And I'm gonna clip this back up. So I don't know, coffee and then later on a Hyper Bunny. <laughs> I could see that now. Sunny Bunny coming in here and just eating coffee off the floor. Yeah, I don't think that'd be good for no, I don't for want, us. I don't want to chase her <laughs> around. Taking out at the feet. <laughs> Streaky rabbit. <laughs> so we have in this cup here the Highland Grog. We did use, if you can grab me that, honey. We used this creamer, which it doesn't change the flavor or anything to me. It's just a sweetened cream. It's not vanilla, it's not, you know, chocolate or macadamia or anything. So, that being said, you know, if you like your coffee black and straight, hey, good for you. That's just not us. <laughs> and I'm the weird one who drinks mine with a straw too. But, you know, get over it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, this one, you can show them that one, which of course, with the cream and everything. But, that is our Highland Grog. And yeah, brewing it, the house smells amazing. Any of these that we've brewed already, it's just, we're hovering around the kitchen going, oh my gosh. It <laughs> is it's a done. very nice aroma. It, it really is. <laughs> so yes, that is that one. And this is the unopened one. I'll put back in the box. Gotta find a place in the kitchen for all these too. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one I was very excited about. It is the maple bacon. If you'll show them that one. So, yeah, very intrigued with that one because, I mean, you don't really think, you think maple with coffee, yes, but bacon, not so much. And um, mm -hmm. while it may not, you know, taste exactly like bacon, like even the smell, like the smell's definitely there. Oh, when know. we tried this one, we definitely got a lot of maple with it, which is good, yes, mm -hmm. but there is some kind of meaty, porkish, yes. baconish. <laughs> scent. I didn't really taste it, but I definitely smelled bacon while I was drinking the coffee. Um, and that might sound very weird, but it was actually very enjoyable. So oh, yeah. I'm not going to take anything away from that. That's, dip my breakfast in that coffee. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you've got anything that's, you know, made to uh, dip into coffee, like a biscotti or anything like that, hell, even French toast, mm. um, that'd be really good with that. That's a meal coffee. Yeah, it's that meaty robust. <laughs> <laughs> this one, as I previously stated, one that I was looking forward to and is actually what I have in my cup. If you'll show them that one. So my wife has a thing for strawberry cheesecake. And um, I'm pretty sure this is the label that convinced her to go with Bones Coffee. So, yeah. There's <laughs> that a, there's and the a... bacon one. I saw those and I was like, yes. 
<laughs> may not be an eats, but it's a drink. <laughs> oh man, you know how people make like coffee cakes and such, and they actually use some of the actual ground? Man. She's on to something. Okay, we haven't tried that because that idea literally just popped into our brain space oh, yeah. just now. So um, that's way. probably going to happen in this house at some point. So if anyone else has the idea, or not the idea, mm -hmm. the gumption to go ahead and give that a shot, oh. tell us how that goes. Yeah, Dude. that's nice. Yeah, I just brewed this one today, and oh my gosh, I mean, obviously, because I have the cup here, the doy. But <laughs> mm. feel free to use or not use my straw. Yeah, I'm, I'm normal. Yeah, I have hand mouth coordination issues, okay? <laughs> Don't wow. short out my workspace. <laughs> and see, I feel like when it comes to flavored coffees, when, and again, this is just my personal thought. When you drink it just straight black, you kind of get some of the flavors, but when you add some sort of sweetener that doesn't offset the flavor, like a vanilla or anything like that, it's just straight sweetener. Like the creamer that we're using, it kind of enhances the flavors a little bit. Um, I did get a sip of this when it first came out, when it was, you know, before anything went into it, and it tasted fine. But with the, uh, the creamer in there, I'm actually getting more of the strawberry. It's like a glaze, like the strawberry glaze mm -hmm. is what I'm tasting. At first, it's all like I could a really, strudel. yeah. At first, all I could really taste was like the graham cracker crust, which was good. Now I'm getting a little bit more of that, and I'm actually kind of getting some cheesecake notes, like you know the cream cheese and all mm -hmm. that. So with the creamer, it seems like the flavors are brightening up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if you know everybody's a fan of creamer, no creamer, sugar, whatever. Um, that's just my personal recommendation if you're trying to get a couple more of the flavors out of this. Well, it's nice that they have these amazing flavors too because if you're somebody that doesn't add anything to their coffees, you're not stuck with just, oh, my bean water, yay, <laughs> yay work. <laughs> so now it's like, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> and then this one was another one that I was very excited to try it is french toast and this is another one of those that we already tried mm -hmm. as you can obviously see it's been that was the second one carnivorously torn into um the smell <laughs> is just something else hold on let's see yeah it smells like french toast i don't know if mm. Yes. You go into a diner where they <laughs> basically just make pancakes, waffles, and French toast. That's what this smells like, and it's really nice. Oh, places like IHOP should get these coffees and serve them with. Oh, my Ooh, goodness. There you go. Yeah, that would be <laughs> insanely awesome. Is that Pipe this one? No, this is the, the store. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Heck, yeah. But, yes, that is the French toast. And I should say, um, backtracking a little, the... High Voltage and the Highland Grogs are the only ones we got in the large 12 ounce bags. And all of these ones, which are what I would call specialty flavors, they are in the four ounce. And they were, as I was explaining prior, where we got two different sets of five each because I couldn't decide. Uh, <laughs> and then I let him look at the website and then he couldn't decide. I was like, oh man, I thought I was solving a problem. Now I created more, <laughs> but it's had, fine. I had, it <laughs> had to keep referencing her cart to make sure that I didn't pick something that was already selected. Yeah, there were so many. And I could still go back and find ones that I obviously didn't get. And then with the seasonal, like, I watched another lady previously, and she had a Frankenstein one, and then they had a skeleton dressed up as a bunny. Nice. For their Easter, I suppose it was. And, yeah, the Christmas they have uh, peppermint bark, so. Okay, yeah, I'm into peppermint, yeah. so that'll be a thing. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> this one, he tried these two. I wasn't up in time to try these two, but... <laughs> These were his picks anyhow, so. This is the Bananas Foster. So it's a banana, I think, what? Banana Ooh. coconut rum. Um, you definitely, there is a little bit of a boozy flavor in this. You definitely get, you know, some of the boozy rum. Very upfront, very strong. On the end, I get a little bit of coconut throughout. And then on the end, uh, definitely the banana. Uh, this was surprisingly good. Um, mm -hmm. 
I'm definitely going to end up getting more of this because I mean, in the large. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I haven't had rum in a very long time, but it they it's spot on. Um, if, if you've ever had rum, you you recognize that smell like in the back of your sinus when you drink it. It's it's like the, you know I kind of want to say this is like eating rum cake, banana rum cake. That might be the best way to describe this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, mm. it was solid. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say no to that. <laughs> we have a treadmill now. We do have a treadmill now. We'll be fine. We'll <laughs> be fine. Damn, like there's slow. always good, there's a goodwill opening up down the road. It's like they know. These people are going to make desserts and gain weight. So we're putting a goodwill right there. And we gave them a treadmill. We're good. <laughs> Famous last words. We'll be fine. <laughs> yes, that is the next one. <laughs> So, moving on to the other boozy flavored one. This is just straight up coconut rum. It, I would say, um, tastes just very similar to the first one, the Bananas Foster, minus I'm the banana. I smell this one. I'm um, going to smell the banana one before, and yeah, banana, the, which is amazing. The coconut is definitely a lot more pronounced Ooh. on this one rather than having to split the real estate with banana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can even smell the coconut there. It smells there. like roasted, toasted coconut. I get the uh, the coconut chips, then they're roasted. It smells like this. Yeah, and again, it's another boozy up front one, uh, but I personally like that. Um, this may be one of those niche uh, flavors that you know it's it's going to be hit or miss for a lot of people, even if you do like uh, boozy flavored things. So I definitely recommend giving it a shot uh, because if you like it, you're really going to like it. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. I know I like coconut, so I'm excited to try that one. That's good. I think you will like that one, honey. Let's see. Okay, so this one is the other large size that we got. And that one is just considered a, you know, I don't want to downgrade it saying basic, but it's an original coffee. No, you know, additional flavors like strawberry, banana, or anything like that. But it's supposed to be a higher caffeine content, which I'm perma-tired, so... <laughs> I definitely am going to be breaking into that. And yeah, we can open them all. Yeah, and, and see, I'm going to go ahead and let <laughs> people know. Um, I'm dumb and no. just went slashing at the bag with a... Uh, you were excited, honey, not dumb. Yeah, we'll go with that. I just went cutting at the top of the bag thinking that would uh, be good. However, there's a little pull tab up front, okay? You got to pull this and that will give you access to the resealable zipper. Not Aww. cutting through the top like I did, like a Neanderthal. You don't chew on it like it's an eat. <laughs> I mean, you should have seen me that morning. Piece. Obviously, at that point in the day, I had not had my coffee yet because <laughs> I was still trying to break into it. <laughs> See that? <laughs> yeah, it smells like really good coffee. Mm, oh my gosh. Ooh. I almost feel like you can smell the extra caffeine. Oh yeah, That's a joke. Like you a can't smell it. Cool on that treadmill, like, yay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that. My heart already uh, does what it can to keep up. I mean, I have blood pressure pills. I just pop <laughs> no. a few blood pressure pills, have some coffee, have a treadmill. <laughs> We're going to put a disclaimer. Do not condone these actions. <laughs> yeah. Don't do not do anything I'm saying. I'm like the worst bad influence of, hey, this is a great idea. Somebody do it so I can laugh at you. <laughs> Buy the coffee. That That's not one of the bad ideas. No. That, that's a good idea. <laughs> What you do after drinking the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And okay. Got three of them out. So, this is the From Dusk Till Donuts Glazed Jelly Donut. That yeah, and, cute. and if anything else, you've really got to give these guys some credit for the way they name things. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at that. Creative. It's almost like From Dusk Till Dawnish. You see that? <laughs> That's super cool. They're clever. <laughs> also, not sure if anybody uh, has watched the Bones Coffee commercials. <gasps> it's so funny. <laughs> yeah. I'll just let you guys do your Googling. Uh, check out YouTube and look for that. Any of their commercials. That lady is so funny. Oh, wow. Jelly Donut. Jelly Donut. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that with the Dunkin' Donut. Oh. Yeah. So... <laughs> Okay. No words needed, just sounds. <laughs> That's interesting because there have been a couple other uh, coffees where 
which one was it? The cheesecake? Mm -hmm. The cheesecake one, I could taste like the, the strawberry glaze. And the crust. That's the kind of strawberry flavoring I was getting was like that, that transparent glaze for strawberry. This, I'm smelling it here, not tasting it obviously because mm -hmm. I'm not eating it, but this smells, it almost smells like a chocolate covered cherry with that like glaze on the inside mm -hmm. of it. Yeah, I and that's My the cool thing goodness. about them is that even just by smelling it, you get where they were going with it. And it's like, yeah, okay, I can see that. Yeah, that's impressive. That's probably going to be the next one we try. And I'm excited by this one. Another cute witty name, S'mori Time. <laughs> Guess what flavor it is. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll just leave it to your imagination to figure out what S'mori Time is. Maybe. It's the best time. Now, I don't know how they're going to come with you guys, but I have to be careful when opening these because the coffee's going like right up past where the preparation is, so. It's just coffee confetti. It's because you're coffee so excited confetti. to try it and Bones was excited to sell it to you and let you enjoy it. Oh, you know so. they're excited to make a sale. <laughs> yeah, I mean, aren't we all? <laughs> Isn't that the point? <laughs> oh my goodness, get a hold of that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Mm, I call next. <laughs> oh, my God. You actually get marshmallow with that. Yeah. Yeah. I smell chocolate and marshmallow. We need more coffee oh machines. Oh, my goodness. I mean, no, no, because we don't need to. Oh, and I could get long bendy straws and hook up a contraption like pipe work where they all come in from each of the coffee and... This is how my wife becomes a chemist slash engineer. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> and that's how I die at a young age. <laughs> I drank like 10 pots of coffee and then pots. tried to run on the treadmill. <laughs> yeah, we're going to need so many like disclaimers on this video. No, what we really need right now is a lock on the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, is this the last one? Oh, no. Okay. So next up, chocolate raspberry. You guys can see that. There was a little bit of a glare, so. Yeah, I've had so much again. coffee today, I let him hold the thing because I was like, I'm probably going to be like, can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> Look at really what not, I have. But... <laughs> yeah, there goes coffee. Coffee fetty. That spider ever comes back, I'll notice that he got into the coffee if he's all scary. Wow, that is very raspberry. That is a lot Holy of raspberry. Holy moly, wow, ooh. Okay, oh see, you mentioned the chocolate covered cherries in the previous one with the donut, I think you were saying, mm -hmm. but I'm kind of getting that from here. Like, I yes, see more raspberry than cherry, but it just, if I'm linking like a candy to it that I've had, it's definitely those. It's one of the other boxes, or one of the other chocolates in the box. Mm -hmm. One of the other boxes. <laughs> Do you need more? more no. More <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's not fall into the coffin. Okay. <laughs> and the last two. Okay, we'll do the Macamaniac. I was like, let's, let's say it in your head first. <laughs> <laughs> I can dig that. That's actually a pretty cool logo. Oh, yeah. I'm digging that one. And the macadamia always is an amazing flavor anyway. That's like hazelnut or something. Like, you just, you know that it's going to be good. Yeah, I feel like nutty flavors go really... I almost knocked over a glass of See, coffee. See, IT comes in and shorts out my uh, tech system. <laughs> There's no keyboard here for me to spill coffee on, so we're, in, we're okay. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, I feel like nutty flavors tend to go really well with coffee. And that actually smells almost like a cigar. Yeah. Mmm. Heck yeah. That does, yeah. There's a slight Christmassy smell in here, which, yeah. yes, Christmassy is a description for a scent. <laughs> we're, we're patenting that if no one's done that yet. So, kind of smelling Christmas in there, I, I suppose. I just, I think it smells amazing. You you definitely get the coffee with that one, but you do get the nuttiness of it too. It's fucking 
Uh, I suppose you guys, when you watch this video, will know if I edit that out or not. I don't really bother with edits or worrying about that crap. I'm just like, whatever. No, that's why you have me to worry about that. Did we even show this one? Cookies no, and dreams. I got, got ahead of myself, guys. So I went ahead and broke into it. <laughs> Cookies and dreams, which yeah, I actually really. They did really good with their, uh, I guess, artwork. Mm hmm. Yeah, oh, yes. Very creative staff. It smells like an Oreo. Oh, we need to get Oreos. <laughs> it smells like an Oreo. Ooh, are you sure it's not an eat? I mean, you can. It won't be a taste good. <laughs> <laughs> or it might. Who knows? I don't know. I mean, some of these flavors make me kind of be like, I want it be on its own. But no, it, it's a drink, it's not an eat. Okay, so I say cookies, or I'm sorry, I say oreos and then take a closer look at the packaging and yeah there's oreos on it so <laughs> i guess i got it right <laughs> and then you got we got two of these yeah, a little cute little stickers dudes. and then just peel off the back so i mean i'm sure you can put them on your car if you're into bumper stickers but i'll probably just put them on one of my folders because i write books and i like to print them out and do the editing that way but yeah so I am very excited about this and I definitely want to try my multi-pot idea but I know that I shouldn't so if my voice are freezing if she seems very high energy in any of her upcoming videos you know why we're like hey guys welcome back okay thanks to Bones Coffee today <laughs> Why are all of her videos now five minutes long? <laughs> are, are they fast forwarding? Why does she sound like a chipmunk? <laughs> oh, I should do a video with helium. <laughs> it's a good thing I do the edits, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think of what would make me laugh if I were watching it. And yeah, I got a weird personality and sense of humor, but... I think that'd be funny. I've watched I that multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> Probably multiple times trying to figure out what the hell they're saying, but you know. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of want to put the coffin in the kitchen and just put all the coffee on it. <laughs> Slow down there, pigeon. <laughs> but okay. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Got a couple laughs either at us or with us. <laughs> and yeah, definitely check out Bones Coffee because I really feel like there's something there for everyone. They do have awesome looking merch also. I definitely want to get one of their mugs because they look very durable. And yeah, they look really cool with the logo on it. So yeah, give it a go. And we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>